<laughs> they're real good. They look like a real lamb. Oh, yes. Oh, you framed it. That's the original. And now he's written oh. a message to you. Well, for heaven's sakes. That's the original. Right. I'll be done. You got chopping wood down here? Yeah. Of course, you know, the nurses were terribly upset at the hospital. <laughs> I'm not getting in that photo. They said, they said maybe nurses <laughs> let, will let the record that. show. <laughs> <laughs> and the ones I saw, they're right. Uh, well, hey, thank you very much. I, you might drop him a note. Yo, yeah. Garner, Washington Times. Is he civic? I reached my phone fast. That's I really, uh, I can't get over it. And uh, now, of course, I do some laps walking yeah. up and down this yeah. corridor. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, last night, the night I one of us had a good night. We'd, we had the, both restless, and this morning, couldn't remember some of them, but both were bothered with weird dreams. But one just this what morning. What did you eat? Huh? What did you eat? No, a nice, well, you know, they got a pretty bland, bland thing. Thing. Yeah, menu. But uh, one of them, usually in a weird dream, you can figure, well, I can understand where that came from. This one I can't. This morning, I was in a small boat, like a rowboat, with some people, a big boy, and there was a couple of women and a girl. We were along the shore, and uh, it seems that I had bought a house out of the Navy. Yes, sir? Uh, the they took good care of you? Huh? They took good care they of you? sure as hell did. They were a wonderful gang of people. Really very enjoyable. Even when it was five o'clock in the morning, you opened your eyes and there were two of us standing by your bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really, it was That's really a horrible nice. experience to think of a couple of Navy men at five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty early reveille out there, and, uh, but you're lucky they usually put people outside for PT at that time of morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was really, you know, it was really very, very wonderful, very friendly. And, Nice, the whole thing. Oh, there are three things on the calendar, Mr. President. Um, <laughs> I was just saying, what a great day to be out in the golf course. Yeah. <laughs> just mm -hmm. a not a cloud in the sky. How about that? <laughs> and here we are. Once, how are you feeling? Wonderful. Pretty good. Any uh, upset or anything from last night? No. Good. No. Got a good no, rest. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah, here he is. Here we are. Well. Had to duck in the men's room. Sorry. <laughs> I wonder where the hell you were. <laughs> I went the wrong, wrong men's room. <laughs> how are you? Well, I'm good. fine. More important, how are you? Fine. Are you? Yeah. Didn't get too tired after last no. night? Yeah, no. Uh, Say that uh, granddaughter of Ike's is a, a lovely young lady. Susan. Yeah. Isn't she nice? Really nice. She never got married, I don't think. I think she's never been, I don't think she's ever been married. Well, somebody's missing a good bet there. Yeah, she's attractive. Yeah. Well, I want you to know you're not the only one that's in good shape. I went for my annual physical this morning. Uh, 120 over 80. The blood pressure. Very good. A couple of pounds overweight. He said you might just uh, push yourself <laughs> a little further away. Well, now I can tell you how you can get rid of several of those. <laughs> <A couple times. laughs> yeah. and dare, dare I ask whether you had the snake and all uh, that? comes later. That's the second part. But uh, I had that last year. Uh, he reviewed it. It was normal. So forth, so. The whole thing or just the first? No, not few, 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 but, uh, uh, what do they call it? The lower end of the button. The yeah. lower end. Uh, sig, uh, yeah. sig yeah. 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 We had a choice between agriculture or trade policy to, for a discussion for about 30 minutes or so. I've elected trade policy unless you prefer agriculture. No, that's fine. There's a meeting today on trade policy, and tomorrow's no decision time. I just want you to see there is a split among your cabinet uh, as to which way to go. Completely free trade, completely protectionist, some variant, 
on that aware. And there is a split. I think you should at least hear the arguments. No decisions. They're going to try to thrash it out. But no, this, is, this impacts an awful lot with our foreign policy. Yeah. And what the time final, is that meeting? Uh, tomorrow? Yeah. I think it's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. And the uh, other thing uh, is, do you feel up to making a call or two a day to new judges, ambassadors, and the like? Sure. We're getting behind a little bit on that. Yeah, I know. I've signed a few things that, without making phone calls. 10, 10 15 tomorrow. 10 15? To 11 15. All right. Okay. All right. All right. In the cabinet room. Okay. Sure. Evening last night on the submarine business. He had arrived after his assassination. Well, he was in that other place where they took him uh, still dying. So I have to have a rough night for no reason. <laughs> Prints are lovely things. What are we doing? Larry, well, you're ready to get this now on the road? Anytime the tour is over, that's right. Where we put the tours? That's right. We're on the old camera, right? We're just going to do a tour. We're going to start this one here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Wrestling on the way. We're going to land. You want to pull down here? What room is this? This is the treaty room. But it's also where the cabinet used to meet before Teddy Roosevelt's wife threw everybody out of the White House. Her line was very eloquent. Her line was, if I'm going to raise six kids, you're going to get your people out of this house. <laughs> Where's the grant room? You guys know? You're listening to grant room? Grant room. Now that, I don't know. I heard of one. Not me. All right. Had one down the basement. Where's the Robert E. Lee room? He's on the top floor of the Tesla house. I think it was someplace down along the river there where they stopped him. My father was with him down when he surrendered. Mike Mansfield, as you recall, let Jackie Kennedy have the big chandelier, which is in the LBJ room. And uh, of course, uh, he should never let it have because that Senate, that was Senate part. So when Carter became president, I asked for it back. And uh, I understand through the press that Roseland didn't want it. So well, one day I was down here and I asked for it. And I told him about it. Let's go down and take a look at it. He went down to <laughs> what he called the Ulysses S. Grant room. And that, that was so massive that the chandelier was just overpowering. He said, you read over that back, don't you? And I said, yes, Mr. President, it should not be here. This is the Senate party. And uh, we'll uh, appropriate you some money for another chandelier if you want. It might even have made in Georgia. So you let me have it back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the interesting story of all of that. There were six chandeliers for the White House. Three of them were made by Paul Revere, and three of them were made in Britain. And uh, during the, one of them is in the speaker's office. And during the course of time, it knew carbon, whale oil, kerosene, tallow candle, gas, and electricity. And it's Waterford Glass. Waterford Company went out of business in 1834 and then came back in 1934. But that's original Waterford. We had no, uh, we had in those days no uh, air conditioning and they'd open the windows and, and Theodore Roosevelt couldn't stand the rattling of the prisons. It drove him crazy. So he ordered the six of them out of the White House. And they were, when we uh, redid the, refurbished the Capitol in, in 1946, the architect of the Capitol found those and he brought them up to the House. One is in the Speaker's dining three were given to the House. One is in the Speaker's dining room, one is in the Speaker's office, 
And the third one they gave to Sam Rayburn, and it's down in the Sam Rayburn Museum. Now, there should be three on the Senate side. One Mike gave back to Jacqueline Kennedy. And did you people say you, you, got, you got it back? Yeah, got it back. And I know where the other two are. The other two are. You got it. one in your office. Beautiful one. one. I'm not sure. It's just, I was just wondering if that's well, the same. telling that story. <laughs> well, that's a. Uh, the interesting thing that interests me is I represented the north end of Boston where Paul Revere came from, and he was a great artisan beside a hospital. You know, he, he made that, he made those, uh, you know, he's famous for the Paul Revere Bowl, but he made those chandeliers for the, the White House in 1803. And he made all the rivets. Souvenir from Nick Brady that he said you might like to see, since you can't prevail yourself. Oh my right. God! Oh. He said there's some clever little. Uh, this is the Bohemian. Bohemian. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even know they put out such a. Piece. I didn't either. I never. This seen is this year's encampment, and it just just thought it. He Nick thought it might be fun. He and Schultz are going out there today. I have a little something to show you, gentlemen. Here, I've been pretty busy, as you can see by Life magazine. <laughs> You're done. What is what is this? What? I want you to see this one. Oh. <laughs> what, what is this? This there? That's right. Believe it or not, that's a cardboard cutout. Oh, that's the one. That's Barbara one. Bush said well, she did with, 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 with a, you know, a lighter suit, but they've ever really got this other version. Oh. Well, there's a guy right down here on the corner of the yeah. street. Yeah. Uh, right outside the treasury. That's it. Charges. He says there's three young fellows, and they get five dollars a photo. I love it. Nice. Nice. And there's one at the. There's one at the. Uh, in front of the uh, science and technology table. I got it really. Well, this one real right here with the yeah. pregnant gal pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh. But they look different, right. and yet they're all exactly. I, the yeah, we call him. Yeah, yeah. Get a picture of him at the. Uh, Mark. 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 President, do you think South Africa should lift the state of emergency? Yeah, I'm not going to take any questions like that right now. Tell us how you feel. I feel great. Do you think the pressure has been on South Africa, given what's happening here? I can't. I can't take questions on that. All right, oil import, cash. I got it. How about that? I'm not ready to take it. How about increasing the pressure on Congress for its budget? Chuck. That's what I've been doing. Huh? I'm dressed up for you. Don't I get any credit for it? I feel fine. Great. What? Well, the longer I get away from that tube that was down my throat, the better it'll get. How do you feel inside? Like I do on the outside. Side corner that Fair. 
Mr. President, are you willing to accept further compromises to get a budget, for example, oil import fees or delay in indexing? Uh, I'm not going to make any comments on tactics of negotiations or anything that's going on. All I'm going to say is the American people deserve to have a budget. The federal government has no excuse for not giving it. Do you think you'll get one? Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you around on this. Good topic if you want. No. saying, what's that crazy clown down there doing, chopping wood you with the president? And the fellow with her says, that is the president. <laughs> well, the nurse they had was a very unattractive, portly, fishnet literary character. And all those young nurses at the hospital were quite upset. They didn't think that was a fair portrait. <laughs> in my farewell speech, I told them that they're, to them, I told them that my mission was going to be to convey the word to the cartoonists that uh, they had to be more fair. <laughs> well, we've got several items here and we'd better get after them because I know our time's limited. And the first one is, I'm going to ask her 